Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm just introducing myself again. I'm Freya. I live in Lanzarote and I'm doing the virtual London Marathon on the 23rd of April 2023. And this is my vlog, I suppose. And I'm raising money for Girl Guiding UK. I am a British Girl Guide Overseas member. I have been for about 14 years and I run guides and ranges and I'm also a trainer in training. We are based in Lanzarote in the Canary Islands a Spanish island that's just off the side of Africa. Here we go! Good evening guys. What is this man? Terrible. So this is the start of week four. My cat is going mental. We leave that. So yet again, uh, trying to do number two. Take two of the video. So, right. So what did I do today? So today I did about 15K. I say about, because my watch is not 100 and part, but it's about 15, 15, almost 16K. Um, the first half was really, really enjoyable. And then I would say the last maybe 10, 15 minutes, I didn't really enjoy, because I went along the promenade and there's loads of people and stuff. And I'm like, oh, get out of my way. Awful, Can we just appreciate this amazing double chin? Uh -oh. um, so yeah, um, but yeah, it was okay. My body doesn't hurt yet. I was chafing under my armpit, and then after guides, well, guides, I smell, I smell like a bonfire. We made um, cardboard ovens. Long story. Now I smell like a bonfire. We did. I had to do yoga afterwards, which actually was probably in t in my favour because I got to stretch but then I am major major chafing um, I, just, I don't know I don't know what the solution is I really don't know what the solution is um, and I was very thirsty in my run as well so I'm thinking I need to find somewhere that obviously on the on the run it's on the run itself I'm gonna have people uh, friends of mine <laughs> that are gonna give me like water and stuff like that do you know I mean? uh, and, but yeah I was just very thirsty today and uh, I was gonna say yeah so I'm also like a little bit confused of food wise so I am on a diet sort of um, but like a seafood diet seafood and eater oh no um, <laughs> I am on some sort of diet. I'm just trying to eat healthily, but then, you know, cream eggs will come out. It's Easter. Cream eggs are my kryptonite. Do you know what I mean? Like, phew. someone gave me a small bag of mini eggs. That's gone. Cream eggs are gone. I bought four cream eggs from overseas. They've gone. So, um, and then I had pasta today, which I haven't had pasta for months. I haven't had pasta. Um, I really enjoyed it. And it's almost as well because I do have stomach problems so I'm sort of doing this trial and error to see what is going on because I refuse to pay 250 euros to do an, um, an allergy test so I had pasta today and at the moment so far it's okay and I had pasta again tonight because obviously it was left over I just put some prawns in it's pasta pesto put some prawns in tomato feta web um so yeah so my diet's not fantastic but it's not exactly bad but then they were talking about doing this electrolytes, like when you're running around, when you're running around, when you're doing the marathon, you have to have electrolytes. But I've seen that whenever I have anything extra, my friend has these um, powdered sorbet things, Karen, she gives it to me and then, you know, she downs it, but it always makes me feel like crap. So I'm like, was well, that going to make, if I have electrolytes, it's going to have the same effect. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to do this sort of powdered thing and just be like, Bleh, the whole time, because I don't want that. Um, I did have, I have had a couple of queries, sorry, you're moving a lot today. I had a couple of queries, which are very, very good, just to get the salts and sugars back in my body, um, which wasn't bad. I haven't had them since the ferry journey because I was having it on the ferry because I was vomiting and I was worried that it made me want to bath, but actually it was okay. Look at that, talking about food and sickness. So yeah, so I suppose I've just got to concentrate more on food and, uh, <laughs> oh. and sort of keeping the energy up I suppose because um, now the runs are increasing I'm noticing that I need obviously I need water 
but I'm just not sure. I'm not sure about Electrolytes. Maybe someone, if someone knows about it, maybe they can write in the comments. I'm just not sure if I, if I want these Electrolytes or not. I'm not sure if I can just survive on Coke and Aquarius and water. That's my cat. Hold on. Sorry, my cat is mental and she does rule our house. Um, so yeah, so that's really it. So just deciding what to eat and stuff out. Anyway, I'm very tired and this is quite a long video. I did circuits, hit, step, went to see dad, run, guides, yoga. And tomorrow, it's another day, another day. So yeah, anyway, good night all. And I shall see you in the morning if I have pain. And if not, on the next one. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel, my journey, uh, my journey of hell, <laughs> that's what it feels like, this journey. Um, I was, I think I've tried to record this maybe about six times, but people have been calling me or texting me or whatever. Welcome to the mess of my son's bedroom, because it's actually probably tidier than my bedroom to be fair. Um, so I haven't filmed since the 31st of January. I've been avoiding it. Uh, my what happened on the after the thirty first of January, um, my father, um, the ins and outs, he fell down and he went into a coma on the Friday of the so that was what the sixth, fourth, third Friday the third of February. So I've been with him and he passed away on the sixth of February. My brother and son's birthday. A bit harsh, Dad. A bit harsh. Um, and then he had the funeral on the Wednesday, so I've just been like avoiding um, everyone. <laughs> it's fine until someone asks you. Someone asks you, oh, you know, or someone says, oh, I'm so sorry. And you're like, hmm. you know? And this is actually the first time I've been in the house on my own, I'm completely on my own, and that's because I'm just doing paperwork. I say on my own, my cat's in that room. My dad's cat's in that room and my dad's cat is not liking it here. So I think she might be going back to his house. I call her, nickname her Popeye, because she only got one eye, but her name is Lena. But she might go back to the house and live with the, my dad's carer for a bit because mm, I don't know if she's going to like it here. But anyway, um, so I just thought I've got all this paperwork to do. I avoid paperwork like the plague, so let's do the video. <laughs> um, so yeah, so since the 31st, I haven't run. I ran yesterday. I ran um, 12 kilometers, just over 12 kilometers. My thighs are hurting big time. If I try and sit down the top like, you know. Um, I am behind on schedule. I only have two months. Um, and I forgive myself. I forgive myself because obviously, um, so the light's going now, so I'm gonna dim him down a bit. Um, because obviously my father passed away um, and yeah it's very hard to be on your own do you know what I mean sorry I don't want this to be so depressing Jesus but um, when you're running because you're running on your own normally on a Tuesday I don't but on a Thursday I would normally run on my own you do, you're avoiding to be on your own so the, the computer keeps picking up you're avoiding being on your own. So to run on your own, it's like your worst nightmare, you know what I mean? Um, because you're obviously, like I said, you're avoiding being on your own and getting like thoughts and feelings coming through. So yeah, anyway, so depressing. Um, so yeah, so I have to pick it up. So Thursday I'm um, dancing. I'm, I have been to work. I'll go back to work on Monday. I'm doing a few little things just to get me back into it. So Thursday I'm dancing. So I might go for a run. Seeing how my body is, I might go for a run after or just run on the machine. I watch Netflix and just not think and try and do 15. Um, the machine I find very, very boring um, because it's just monotonous. Do you know what I mean? It's just that pace. You just hear you go, dum, dum, dum. do you know what I mean? It's like the most boring thing in the world. But one of my machines has a little lip on it, so I can put my phone and just watch Netflix. 
Uh, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have to watch Netflix and just power through. Just power through because otherwise I'm not going to be able to get it. I wanted to be by 20, I wanted to be by the end of February 20k and I, it's now it's the day for my mum's birthday so it's the 15th or Feb and I'm not anywhere near it. I've gone back obviously. Um, so yeah. There you go. So that's my journey at the moment and uh, I'm sorry that sounded really depressing. Um, but I'm just trying to keep it real, just trying to keep it normal. Not normal, but you know what I mean? Um, and this is a moment that, although I'm on my own, I'm not sad. So I can actually get a conversation out. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, I'll just, this moment as well, I like to take this moment to all my clients, all my friends that have reached out to me and text me and stuff during this time. Um, and yeah, I suppose now I'm not just running for mum, I'm running for mum and dad. So yeah, it'll be two days after my dad's birthday as well. All the joy. Right, back to paperwork. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye guys. Hey and welcome back. Uh, this is Wednesday, this is the day after running club. I ran with Matt today and I ran with uh, Ingrid and Andy and me and Matt we run just under 10 kilometers. I think I could have done more but the boredom sitting in a bit you know I'm not I'm not one for doing the same thing over and over again so we did a different route we went along the seafront but yeah it's it's hard, it's hard. I'm gonna try and do a run tomorrow, uh, just on the running machine and with Netflix and just see. Because obviously I can't, I'm going down now, I need to be going up. I need to, I have literally one week um, to get to 20K. The furthest I've run so far is 16, I think, which isn't good. So, um, yeah, so. Tomorrow I'm going to do that, just in the gym, my body's okay, it's not hurting, my body's hurting but from fitness because obviously I haven't done any of my classes for a couple of weeks, um, so my arms hurt, um, I've been asleep really early this whole week, today is the first day that I'm, I would say back to my normal schedule, I sleep at one in the morning, um, so yeah, I was going to have a shower tonight, but ah, shower tomorrow. And the problem that I am still having, and I can't get rid of that problem, is chafing. Good old chafing. I don't know how to get rid of it. And it's not like while I'm doing it, it's like when I finish. So I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, someone can tell me the science effects of that. Maybe when you stop running, your body maybe inflames because of the muscles. And then that makes you chafe. I don't know, but it's not pleasant. It's not pleasant. It's not funny. <laughs> and so there we go. All right. Good night. Good morning. So I really like, I just watched the last video back, which was on Wednesday. It sounds really like I'm like really bored. I am really, really tired. I don't think I'm like. Mm. Uh, so yesterday was Thursday. Today is Friday. So yesterday I went to the running machine for two hours, two hours and a half. Uh, and I did 16K again. Oh my God. Uh, so I've got it back up again. Uh, I didn't chafe, but whether that's because it's like an even ground and you're just like, maybe that's why. My body is okay today. We shall see on Saturday. Uh, and it was very boring. It was very boring, but that's because, you know, you're on a running machine, you're not going outside. On the plus side, I got to watch Netflix. So I watched um, Below Deck, which I'm obsessed with at the moment. So yeah i'm happy i'm very happy that i did 16k i'm very very happy it was like 16.1 or whatever um so that's really good and so i finished the last two three weeks of hell of my life actually on a positive <laughs> on a positive um yeah so so then tuesdays i think i'm gonna have to start earlier so it means i have a less of a break at lunchtime but I'm gonna have to start earlier because in order to get 
to where I need to get to because I've guides at six. I have to be running from three. So I have three, four, five, six. So I have like two, three hours to get it up. And I'm gonna try, try to go for 20 on Tuesday. I'm gonna try. And I think I might try and sort of do some of it on my own and then the other sort of join me. Because like I said, I need to get the, the, the mileage up, the mileage, the distance. I might try and do the circuit that I'm thinking to do on the actual day which would be from my gym, people in Lanzarote, from my gym to THB Tropical, along um, towards the marina, uh, past almost where overseas is, and then come back on myself, um, past my, my dad's house, up there, and then sort of play Flamingo, and then along the seafront. I would love to do all of it on the seafront, it'd be amazing, but unfortunately there's so many people that you're just going to be zigzagging and it's not going to be fun so yeah so positive note really good <sighs> i'm uh yeah after shit excuse my french after a crap three weeks a positive's come out at the end so <sighs> signing off and i'll see you next week Ta -ta. and here is my chafing face thank you so much for watching my video please do support follow like and of course if you can donate to girl guiding in the description box below will be the link thank you so much have a fabulous day and i shall see you all very very soon so you have to 10 you have to 10 what hi hi guys and welcome back to uh another week of hell <laughs>